Play. There you see the ball hit just off the end of his glove, and there's a there's a little bit of a slope down there. Now there you go again, and they're going to give Ray an error. As I said, you'll see Johnny make this play most of the time. So the first error of the new season and the first major league at bat for Sean Dunstan this year. He had 20 steals in the minor leagues last year. He hit 329 in double A, but rookie hit only 233 in triple A. Well, that adjustment sometimes a little bit difficult to make, but he came back and had the fine spring, and now the ball is, nope, it's fair. They got a chance for a double play. They're going to get it. They've got a run down here on Davis. Foley runs it back, puts the tag on him. So you have to score the play. One unassisted at first and one six on the double play as Foley puts the tag on the runner. So Thompson quickly racing over to first base. Let's watch it again as he makes the play and gets the fair call. It looks like the ball is going to kick foul, but watch Jason. He kind of stays back and just in front of the bag. And of course, first base umpire Jerry Dale, he had a pretty good angle there. And they get the double play, so Roden gets a good break here in the second inning. So it's a 1-6 double play. Thompson just barely in fair territory when he fielded the ball. And up from the left-hand side of the plate is Rick Sutcliffe. Had 14 hits last year, six RBIs. And he hit, that, he hit that big home run in the playoffs against San Diego. That was a thrill. One ball, no strikes on Sutcliffe. We'll pause five seconds for station identification on the Pittsburgh Pirate Television Network. KDK TV 2 Pittsburgh. The Cubs lead it 1 0. The Pirates coming up with a double play. After the error by Johnny Ray allowed Davis to reach base, he was retired on the double play. So it's Sutcliffe now with two outs. There's a called strike. 35 degrees at game time in Chicago. But sunny, the wind from the east, which means it's blowing from right field to left field. In foul territory down the line, Foley and Madlock chasing. It's out of play. Rick Sutcliffe is a character. Mm -hmm. With the Dodgers, then went to Cleveland. Pops it up again. Well, he's certainly giving Roden a battle there. I mentioned Sutcliffe is a good hitter. One thing he doesn't want to do, though. <laughs> I know that he's he's hoping that Roden will keep the ball away. Sutcliffe doesn't want to get jammed and get those bees in his hands because he has to go back out there and pitch. A unanimous choice for the Cy Young for last year. Mm -hmm. Roden walks his mound opponent. It's the first walk of the game for Rick. He has struck out a couple. Thompson looking in at the dugout to Chuck Tanner to see whether he's going to hold him on or play behind the runner. As the top of the order, Bob Dernier comes up. Bob beat out an infield single in the first inning and then was picked off by Rick Roden. If there's any positive note to the cool day, Rick has thrown quite a few pitches. Uh, he'll be able to keep his strength, though, maintain the strength and energy because of the coolness. Dernier had a grand slam home run in spring training. Hit the ball well the last week of uh, training camp at over 500. And he had nine hits in his last 14 times up, so he was streaky. Madlock playing right at the edge of the grass. Sutcliffe the runner at first with two outs. It's one nothing Chicago leads. We're in the bottom of the second. High fastball and he swung right through it. It was just a couple of years ago that the Phillies were trying to get Bob Dernier to learn to pinch or switch hit I should say and it didn't work out for him.